Hi, it's Tom Lang from TC Helicon. Welcome to the Harmony V60 and V100 Acoustic Amplifier Quick Start Video. Now these amplifiers are extraordinary. They have some very innovative features, so stick with me and we're gonna talk about those. First of all, what you don't see, has an eight inch concentric tweeter tannoy driver. And that just means it's gonna sound great. And it has, what you don't see up here, is a tweeter that's facing up. You can turn on so that when you're standing, you can get that lovely top end. So let's look at the control panel here. We've got two channels. As you can see, it has a mic channel, a vocal channel, and it has a guitar channel. So let's start with the mic channel. We've got a Midas preamp here, very high quality. Obviously, you've got phantom power. You got this volume for mixing. You've got a talk button, which turns off all the effects, but leaves the adaptive tone turned on so your voice sounds crisp and clear and controlled dynamically. There's also pitch correction. It's very subtle, chromatic pitch correction to just nudge you closer to those correct notes. Moving here, we've got the harmony selection. This product has two voices of harmony that are controlled by your guitar in, in that they listen to the chords of your guitar and sing the right notes for you. Here's the volume for that. And interestingly enough, you can control it here by turning it on and off here. The product also comes with, that is included with, a foot switch with LEDs that light up to tell you when your harmony is on or off. Excellent, excellent. And those harmonies are the TC Helicon harmonies, so those are the real deal. Moving on, on the vocal channel again, we've got reverb and echo, and those can be turned on and off from the foot switch as well. And the interesting thing about that is you can configure each one or both to be turned on with the vocal effects button. And then we have the looper here. It has a looper that you can use to jam with or to use um, to embellish your performances. It has separate inputs. So you can sing and play and have it just loop the guitar, for example, or sing and play and it'll just loop just the vocal or both. And that's here. Of course, you've got your loop level control right here and you've got record, play, stop, etc., on the product. But then that can be done much more conveniently with the included foot switch here with the LED on the foot switch so you can see what you're doing. Did you notice that when I pressed record and play briefly on that looper foot switch that the tap tempo changed? What happens when you make a loop is we calculate the time of your loop and set the tap tempo so when you use the echoes, they fall into time of your loop. So that's very handy. Now, moving on to the guitar channel here. This is interesting because, of course, it has a very high quality guitar preamp and it has a tuner that you can just tune up really quickly. It's easy to see. Or you could map one of these switches. It is mappable to one of those switches. And you've got your mix volume here. Then you have anti-feedback. And this is something I didn't mention from the mic channel. Each of these channels has its own anti-feedback. And this is automatic anti-feedback. This isn't try to find a notch while it's feeding back. This is the real deal. You press these on and they're constantly searching for that very specific ring that sounds like feedback. That's a big deal. And of course, the guitar channel has body res, has three styles of body res, and body res basically gets over that sort of quacky, out of control dynamic sound of a piezo pickup. Uh, and that sounds really actually quite nice. You got bass, middle, and treble. And here we've got a chorus effect, a reverb effect, and an echo effect for the guitar channel. And these are specific, meaning that they're different from the vocal echo and reverb. So you could have a slap on the guitar and a long echo on the vocals, for example. And those, of course, are controlled by the guitar effects button here on the foot switch. And again, it's all mappable. So that's basically the control panel here. And then at the back, you've got connections to uh, USB and to XLR so that you can record or you can send uh, a sound person out in the front. You can send them a, a, just a guitar feed, just a vocal feed, stereo mix if you're confident with that. And there's a switch to turn this top mounted tweeter on and off. That's the Harmony V60 and V100. It's bigger brother with 100 watts. And that's me, Tom Lang. Thanks very much for watching.